Hi, my name is Josh, and this is my son, London, and we're going to start a video series today about weight weaning a Trek 3500. For those of you who don't know what weight weaning means, it's basically taking a bike and replacing parts that are fairly easy to replace and are much lighter to make the bike much lighter. Today we're going to be talking about just replacing real easy usable user replaceable parts like the tires. We're going to start today with tires and as we progress further along in part two and part three of this series we'll replace other parts that just need common tools to replace and then eventually we'll get to other parts that are a little more expensive that require specific bike tools. So today we're first we're going to start off just by weighing the bike and seeing how much the bike actually weighs. Try that again. Alright. Brady, if you can move closer, Brady, our son, is recording all this on a Galaxy S4. And the bike currently weighs in at about 31 pounds, 7 ounces. That's roughly 31 and a half pounds. When we originally got the bike last year, I believe I weighed it on a regular old bathroom scale and it said 32 pounds. Um, this one's a little more accurate, you know, those are your bathroom scales can fluctuate a pound or so. So, we're going to start off today just by replacing the tires on the bike. And today we've got a pair of, we've got a pair of Schwalbe's uh, Rocket Ron tires. The Rocket Ron tires weigh 480 grams. And for those of you who don't know how much a gram is, compared to a pound, there's about 453 grams in a pound. I had originally weighed these tires uh, last year when we first got the bike. These are still the original tires that were on the bike from last year. And the tires weighed in about 869 grams for each tire. So we're looking at a weight savings of uh, well over 300 grams. You're almost looking at three quarters of a pound uh, just on replacing the tires. And these tires, uh, they're, they're not overly expensive. They were about $45 a tire. And Lennon and I are going to replace the tires, and then we'll be right back and show you what the new weight of the bike is. All right, we're back. We're just going to do a quick uh, instructions on how to change out the tire. The first thing Lennon is going to do is remove the air from the existing tire. This is a simple Schrader valve. Uh, unlike uh, other tires may have a Presta valve, which is some people refer to as a French valve, but this is your standard Schrader valve that is on cars. We'll try and remove as much air as we can out of here. All right, the next thing he's gonna do is he's gonna use what we call a tire lever to take the one, one side of the tire off. You can just about use anything these days. A lot of times the tires just come off without even, even using a tire lever. So as you can see, the tire comes off pretty easily on one side and what we really want to do here now is take the tube out you're going to start by taking the tube out by pulling it out where the Schrader valve is first this will make it easier to get the other part of the tire off Now we're going to pop the other side of the tire off. Real easy, you can pretty much just do this with your hand. You don't even need the tire lever. Alright. So now we're going to take the new tire and just basically do everything in reverse. We've got a brand new tire, so it's kind of a... Uh, here's our Rocket Rons, that way much lighter. And we're just going to film one tire today. 
pretty much the same process for the other tire. Sometimes new tires are hard to get on, sometimes they're they're uh, hard to get off. So now we're just going to put the tube back in. Put the Schrader valve in through the hole first. So you're just going to tuck the tube back in little by little, just get it around. Alright, so we got the tube back in, and now we got to get the other, the other sidewall of the uh, tube in. Oh, the other one side popped out. So I'm going to stop the video right here and give my son a hand because he's still rather new to this kind of stuff. So I'm going to finish putting the, yeah, the tire the and tire tube in, and then on. we'll come back and show you the weight. It took a little while, but we got her. One thing I forgot to mention is on tires, uh, especially mountain bike tires. Um, there, there is a direction that the tires should go on. It'll either say something like uh, what we have on this one. It'll say, this one says front and rear. On some bikes it'll just say rotation this way with an arrow. Now it's not so much of a difference on a, on a front tire. You could in theory run it either way. But on the back tire of course where you've got the gear side on one side you want to make sure that the tire rotation is going the same direction as the bike. Back again, and we're measuring the old tires. Now, when we originally had the tires, uh, when we first got it, I actually weight weaned them, and they came in approximately 869 grams per tire. Now you're looking at both tires on the scale, and they weigh 16.9 grams or kilograms, which is approximately. Um, 1,690 grams. Uh, tires might have lost a little weight over last year of riding. A lot of rubber came off, so um, it's a it's a good chance that it lost a good you know 40 grams from just from last year just from riding. So now we're going to uh, take the tires off and re-tear the scale. Honey, can you do that for me? Just press the top button to clear it out. All right, now we're going to put the bike back on the scale. And I'll give London a hand with that. And now we'll see what the bike weighs. Well, now it's weighing in at 13. 13.49 kilograms, and if we hit these buttons it'll switch it back over to pounds 29 pounds 12 ounces and our original weight I believe was 31.7 so we literally just saved uh, just about two and a half pounds just from the tires alone which is uh, Seems kind of odd because I thought it would only be about 600, six, 700 grams, which would be uh, a pound and three quarters or so. But hey, I don't, this digital scale is supposed to be plus or minus 0.2 ounces. Uh, either way, it's it's a good two pound savings just on better tires alone. Um, that's not too bad. Uh, I just wanted to talk earlier about the uh, again about the mounting of the tire uh, front and rear, and you can see right here again. On the rear tire now, I have the front going front and rear going rear. And London, can you pull up one of the other tires? 
So on the other tire, if you bring it around, keep rotating it, Lennon, it's on here somewhere. It could be on the other side of the tire. Usually on both sides of the tire, it'll show you tire rotation. On this particular one, it actually says rotation. And I just wanted to show you that. I just saw it a little while ago. Here, this one actually just says direction. I don't know if that's focusing there, it goes. Hopefully we'll get a better camera for our further for our next videos. So, London, can you uh, say a few words about the the bike being lighter and why you why you want the bike lighter? Well, I want the bike lighter so it's a little bit easier to go up hills. And um, a lot of the kids I race against in wars um, have a lot lighter bikes, and I just want to have a bike that I can compete against them with. Yeah. So. We can't quite afford those expensive bikes that those other kids ride. So, and the big thing is, uh, big thing about wheels is what we call rotational mass. And if anybody knows anything about physics, you want the the outside of the tire or the outside of the wheel, which is the tire, to be actually very light because the less rotational mass you have, the quicker the wheel will turn. So that pretty much sums it up for this uh, part one of our uh, Trek 3500 weight weenie. Uh, series. Uh, we've so far we've looked at about saving two pounds. In our next series, we are going to actually looking at replacing the handlebars, which again is going to be a real easy uh, tool. It's nothing more than a five millimeter and four millimeter uh, hex wrench, and. Uh, the wheels were rather easy as well. I mean, you basically can do them with your hands depending on what type of tire, but all you basically need is a pump and and a piece of plastic to just kind of wedge the original tire off and and you're good to go. It's a real easy fix. Uh, save yourself uh, some weight on your bike and we'll see you next time.